And welcome back to the Lost Prevention News Network. I'm Joe LaRocca. We're filming this episode in New York City, just a few blocks away from the National Retail Federation's Protect Conference. We've had a great day. We've talked to a number of service providers and retailers, about technology, about technology, training, cyber, about talking cyber, in third person, talking in third person, and uh, a few other fun things. Uh, highlights of the day? You have a favorite? Gosh, it's hard. But I always like Mike Lamb's sessions uh, and uh, Dave Thompson with WZ. Dave did a great job. He's always a that favorite. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was good Ed to Wolf. see. It was good to see Ed Wolf. I know yep. we got our PSA we got, out. We got our PSA. Yes. You remember what it was? Don't carry your Social Security <laughs> card in your shoe. And. And don't speak in third person in a job interview. Yes, and? Freeze your credit. Yes, very good. And, and there's freeze another. freeze your LexisNexis. LexisNexis. So do yes. a LexisNexis full file disclosure. So get the full report. It'll be 400 pages long, truthfully. That's and crazy. then you can turn of around. what kind of information is Everything. Where, everything. You, where you've lived and everything about the property. Yikes. Who you've lived with and a lot of can stuff about Can you get someone them. else's LexisNexis report? You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. So, once you receive your report, then you can opt out, which means that other people without your permission cannot access I'm gonna re the file. I'm going to rewatch this episode so I can then go do that because I'll never remember what you're yeah. saying. But. I think I put it on LinkedIn once. Oh, nice. Yeah, See? So there, there is my PSA for You've the You've got to follow Joe. You'll connect with, with anyone on LinkedIn that is no. in the end. Oh, no. what's, your, what's your realm okay. of connection? Early LinkedIn days. Yes, you were connecting with everyone. No, early no. LinkedIn. I wouldn't connect with anyone unless I knew them, yeah. knew and trusted them wow. personally. Wow, that's a high bar. When I went to the NRF uh, and, and got more involved in the PR stuff, I opened that up quite a bit. Uh, and then, so joking, <laughs> um, jokingly, Wayne Hoover and I were traveling. Oh, you did the, the Wayne I, test. I did the Wayne test. Say that again because it got a ton of views when we did this okay, before. Okay, so I had the Wayne Hoover test, and here, here it was. So... He said, he goes, do you accept everybody on LinkedIn? And I said, no, but if I see your friends with them, I know they've been one of your students, so I accept them. And he said, no, no, don't do that, because he looks to see if they're linked in with me. It, it's an age-old question. It's, a, it's an age-old, it's just Yes, uh, so if they are linked to Joe and Wayne, it's an automatic it's, accept. It's, 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 it well, has to be. Well, it just means I looked at Wayne and he looked at me. But the, the truth is, um, they have to be somewhat industry related. Yes. But it, LinkedIn now, at least for me, is the tool to share information to the masses. I have more LinkedIn followers than I do Twitter. So I put out information on LinkedIn. Well, Business specific, no personal. Yes, no personal. Maybe he a Kings, yeah. LA Kings LA. win or something. That's it. <laughs> the Go Kings. Go Kings. Go. Quadruple exc exclamation marks. So I'm, I'm down with that. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, LinkedIn, it's like, sure, I'll accept you in the same industry realm. Just, you have to have a photo, and it's not the iStock. Don't, don't pull an iStock photo as your photo. Yeah. I think that's a... It's fair ra enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, you know, we were giving LinkedIn advice, the one quick take that was pretty good about the headshot that's right, thing. The headshot. So this is kind of like a best of quick take right now. Yeah. <laughs> like it, our best of. We did travel tips. Travel tips? Yes. Yeah. That's right. What was your best travel tip? Do you remember? Uh, you had some yeah, good ones because well, you're a traveler. The, uh, one of my favorites, well, sign up for Global Entry and, mm -hmm. and PreCheck. I think the one that everybody enjoyed hearing and feedback I received was right before, um, so always book your seat. And when you book your seat, always look for a row that has somebody on either end. So if somebody's in the window, you take the aisle and leave the center seat open because statistically, nobody wants to ride in the center except no. some poor dust sucker that booked really late. So the chances <laughs> are the center seat stays empty, which means you get a little extra room yeah. and you still which pay coach. Which is always nice. That's right. And very rare these days. Very rare You know rare they're trying these to pack days. these flights. Yeah. Gosh. But that's people true. tell you like, well, book in the exit row or book in premium. Well, if everybody books in premium, those seats go. Yep. I, I'd rather fly towards the back of the plane and have an empty center seat, personally. That's true. The travel tips were always popular, I yeah. think. 
And the LinkedIn photo advice. We were saying LinkedIn. don't take it in the car. Don't take it in, don't the, car. Take it in the car. Don't do like, don't do, the you know, and cut out the arm. Things. Don't cut out the arm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or the weird hand the weird, on the, the shoulder. The weird hand on the shoulder. Yeah, be right. alone in the picture unless right. you have some mad cropping skills. Right. that's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Or sunglasses. Or yeah. a hat. Stay away from the sunglasses. Stay away from the hat. Stay away from the camo. Or like 40 miles away. The picture needs to be... <laughs> At right. least I don't know. Up it's a headshot, right? Way. It's of a head. It's not of so people can identify right. you. It's not of Castaic that, you know, Lake or anything. That's not that I'm a LinkedIn expert. Just saying, just if you're saying. if it can't recognize you, maybe not the best right. picture to pick. Yeah. Just a thought. And someday, and this is a legitimate question. I, there are some people that don't put their title in yeah. their profile. They put in. Proven visionary, business leader, proven visionary, visionary, visionary evangelistic, <laughs> blah blah blah. Answer to all your prayers. Why? Why? I, I, I just, I, I truly, I'm asking. Does what's the title? Why? Yeah. What? I don't know. It is, does that do something for you that You're I'm missing? Because maybe I'm missing. Because I always put like a title to be in there. What you do. Like, especially if you're in sales, right? It's like, what do you do for the people? You know, in a quick little blurb. Because, the, and then you put the title in your job experience. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because right. when people are searching, they can search that headline. And then if you're scrolling through people, all you're seeing is the headline, which is why people are like, I need to put in there that I'm a sales executive right. making my number. I don't know. But it's uh, something to think about for sure. Right. I'm a technology junkie. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's searching the word J junkie, junkie. <laughs> in LinkedIn, but I'd be curious at how many people pull up. That might show that. up in your Lexus Nexus full file <laughs> disclosure. I'm, well, I'm so glad they're not sponsoring the event yes. because clearly they, they would be I'd upset. Be in, I'd, yeah, yeah be that would upset. be bad. That would and be for bad. my friends that work for Lexus, Lexus Nexus, yeah, I'm he sorry. Has to, he but does have friends. I, I just didn't like the 400 pages. Just saying. It's a little intrusive. It was a little invasive, yeah. yeah. You know, it was not intrusive, and people that we love are sponsors of this. We love our sponsors. Fast digital break Fast Break Conference. conference. Wait, try yes, that again. Yes. The digital, industry's only digital, digital fast, fast Break conference. conference. Yes, and without these folks, we wouldn't have it. So, ADT Protection One. Sensormatic. That's huge. Yes, Sensormatic by Johnson Controls. That's a big deal. We That's appreciate you. Right. Access Mad love. Communications. A uh, face first. That was a fun that interview. That was a fun. With face Peter Tripp did a great job. Gatekeeper Gatekeeper Systems. Gatekeeper Systems. Big fan of the hashtag Drama Free LP. That's a big deal. And Hanwa. Hanwa. Tequin. That's yeah, right. I said it right. I think Zelman. Zelman. ZK Teco. Yes, ZK, ZK Teco. Teco. Biometrics. Biometrics. Yeah, that was a good that session. That was uh, Larry. Larry. We we love Larry. The CEO. That's mad. Larry Shout out to Larry. Three SI. And of course, our friends at NeedApp, Need RFID technology, which is really making a splash, splash for up sure. here at the big show. Yeah, for NeedApp sure. is exhibiting over there at the Javits Center. Nice. Yeah. So we're really excited too about NRF Protect coming up in Anaheim. Coming up in so Anaheim. So we will be, to be back together unless we get fired for this these airings. Which, you know, I think I've only said one cuss word. I will definitely be at NRF Protect. <laughs> Maybe not in this capacity. Maybe not in this capacity, but I will be there. We should do like a survivor thing. Like, we should still stay on the island. So if you're going to vote for us to still stay at Anaheim, we should see how many people are I, tagging us. I need us. a clue. <laughs> I need a clue. I need an immunity idol. Oh, I, I need love an immunity that. idol. I used to be a huge survivor fan. I still yeah, am. back in the day. I, Are I you? Still Is enjoy it still it. on? It's not, yeah, it's still on. It's great. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Who has time for that? Apparently, this we do, this we past time. season was interesting. Yeah. A lot of maybe too many idols and too many immunities. and uh, uh, yeah, there's mm -hmm. uh, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> but if they keep going down that road, pretty soon everybody will have immunity, and you'll just be who can give immunity to the immunities <laughs> idol. Right, the yeah. snapshot of this episode is going right. to be. Amber and Joe discuss Survivor. Right. Watch Maybe. now. Perhaps. Perhaps. We yeah. have to see how many views we get, though. What is, you know, what's your favorite show? Like, what, if you picked a show right now off the top of your head, what show are you watching right now? Sherlock. Sure. Netflix. Really? Yes. There you go. Okay. By the BBC, I'm telling you. It is the most amazing show that's ever been made. You have to watch it. Okay. It's visually I, incredible, too. I, I will. I and will it's funny. It it's dramatic. It's 
It's insane. It takes a lot for me to say that. You know, we got into the Americans for a while. What a disappointment that was. I like the Americans. I liked it. Karen but Russell did a great job. She did a great job. She's a total badass. She's a badass. I mean, she's a badass, yeah. I'll first say of it. all. I mean, yeah. she could kill you, which yeah. is awesome. First, love the actors, okay? But just that middle of the season was such a bore. Yeah. It, and then the way he finds out, finds out oh, six Change seasons of okay. my life. Have you watched uh, <laughs> Sneaky Pete? No, is on it good? Amazon Prime. It's okay. good. I, I, I'm, I'm awesome. halfway through the first season. It's, okay. It's good. Uh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Watched a couple episodes of that. No. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> It gets the thumbs do down. Uh, the no. rookie, do you like? Haven't seen it. Okay, it's I'm actually finding all kinds of good ones. I like nine one one. I okay. do really enjoy nine one one. I think I like the rookie better. All right. Dave Thompson said the innocent. Is that it? Innocent man. Innocent well, man. There you go. From a WZ guy. That's important. Innocent man. Netflix. It's Netflix. John Grisham. When's Jack Ryan that, next season coming out? I know. That was a good season, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little paranoid, that, but it's, rightfully it's so. A good season. What See about, something, say something, everyone. What about, what about Counterpart? I haven't seen it. Okay. See, so Counterpart. Okay. See, Counterpart this is, is a meaty session watch, that is good. Watch Counterpart. It's, okay. It's, it's on uh, Epix. It's Epics. really, it's or Stars. It's on Stars. Stars. Okay. It's good. Nice. It's very good. See, and people think that the description down here is really going to match what you no. get out of this? You're crazy. No. This description says, uh, talk about network <laughs> talk television. Talk about network television. It's right here on the prompter. Recap the sponsors. Yes, which we did very well. Pick your I favorite think. session. Yeah. We've done Mine all hasn't happened. Going to be Making a Murderer with Making Dave the Thompson. Murderer with Dave Thompson. Have you, have you seen that, Making a Murderer? I haven't. You haven't at all? Nothing. I've seen it in the D&D. I well, have not seen the show. weird. So Joe is the only one in America that doesn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I know but, the show. I know okay. what you're talking about. First of all, it will make you insanely mad. Kathleen Zellner, call me. <laughs> call me because you're so awesome. Mad, mad as in crazy or mad as in upset at the P, at as our, in, uh, where criminal are justice we? system. Is this America? Like, let him out. Is this, I don't even understand. Dassey. I mean... It's crazy. Right. It makes you want to go picket somewhere with a big sign. So, and that's saying you've got a lot of time on so your hands. Let me you just put your feelings on a sign, and you march up and down the road. And I would do it for him. Okay. I'm telling you. Go so, ahead. But, so this is, this is wait, this, these are powerful people taking evidence, stacking it against an individual to make they're a case interrogating that may or may not be true. Listen, is, that, is that along the lines of? They're interrogating a kid with a mental disability. That's fair. For how many hours? 10 hours. Told him he could go home, said everything's going to be fine, just admit it. It was a horrible interrogation, worst thing I've ever seen. Then the kid is still in prison. It's crazy, he's innocent. So you got to watch Dave Thompson's Making a Murderer. I will watch Making a Murderer. And uh, Kathleen Zellner is now on the case. Okay. Call me. Love her. She's awesome. I'll do, I mean, it's not that she needs any marketing help, but I'd change my whole career path. If she called me, just wow. saying. Kathleen, you better. You I better, follow you on Twitter. I might should, be your stalker. You should uh, ring Amber. And go get him out, man. It just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, you people have to watch that. If you disagree, tag me on Twitter. Clearly, I'm up for clearly debate. that's the uh, on top of on top of her list. Uh, yes, <laughs> it's important. The justice system. Promise me you'll watch it by Anaheim. I will watch it by okay. Anaheim. All right. Thank you so much for watching this nothingness, and it will be valuable to you in your life when you least expect it. But now we're going to turn it over to Gus for some real value. Turn it back over to you. Thanks for watching LPNN.